Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I'm your host, the Supreme Litigant, and I'd like to welcome everybody back to Smart Low TV. If you haven't already, please go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and turn that notification bell on. I'll give y'all a few seconds to do that. All right, y'all, so let me uh, just give y'all a little update on my YouTube channel. YouTube, obviously, if you haven't, I mean, if you don't know by now, they have uh, chosen to demonetize my YouTube channel. Um, and they, they've given me their reasons probably about a month or two ago. I don't agree with it, but that's the YouTube. YouTube going to do what YouTube want to do is stay platform. Let me tell y'all, um, I wanted to go over the reasons that they're giving me. And then I wanted to talk about uh, something else. So the first one of what should you do next? Review the appeal feedback. Videos referencing your appeal are not representative of your channel. I don't know what they mean by that. But anyway, your appeal focused on a small number of videos on your YouTube channel instead of explaining your channel as a whole. I think I explained my channel as a whole um, to the best of my abilities because they were kind of vague with what they wanted to know. I really didn't know what they would what they wanted to know, but I just did the best that I could. In order for your suspension to be overturned, the majority of your channel should follow our policies. Review the initial feedback. Uh, let me see. Uh, reviewers found that your channel does not follow our YouTube's monetization policies. Content is not clearly an original creation of this channel and may have been repurposed from another source without adding significant original commentary substantive modifications or education or entertainment value all right um i do have some youtube videos on my channel that are not mine however i intentionally chose not to monetize those videos because they are not mine and i don't have the permission from the owners of the uh, the content within those videos to use those videos for uh, commercial purposes, which is why I did not monetize those videos. But anyway, again, YouTube gonna do what YouTube wanna do. Uh, let's see, third, uh, number three, edit your channel and reapply for monetization. Make changes to your channel to address the initial feedback shown in step two. Changes can include editing or deleting video. I'm not doing neither one of those and updating video details. You can reapply starting September 9th, blah, blah, blah. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing none of that because I've, I've, I've already done and what I believe the most just, fair, and equitable equitable thing to do, which was to do, don't monetize those videos in the first place. But everything else that I do on my channel, those are my videos. I provide commentary on those videos. I read those videos, so on and so forth. All right, so anyway, uh, on to the next thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, I get a lot of emails from people who need help, okay? Um, I do charge for my time, y'all. However, you can catch me free when I do lives. For two, I do it lives um, two to maybe four hours. I'm busy right now. All right, so the, the best way to get in contact with me, because I am busy right now with cases, is you, you're going to have to you know, book some sort of consultation, something like that. I, I have I have a duty to respond to you then. You know, it's the fair and just equitable equitable thing for me to do would be to respond to you since you uh quote unquote paid me um for my time. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm working on federal lawsuits right now. It's probably gonna be getting ready to start to work on a third one. Uh but right now I'm litigating two. Um and it's it's a lot of time. It's very, very, very time consuming. And it's mentally exhausting for me to do this. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, that's what I'm doing. So that's why I can't really respond how I want to. That's really why I haven't been doing any videos and doing any Q, Q and A's live. That's what I've been doing. I've been drafting paperwork. Um, but anyway, um, if you need help with your case, whatever it is, if I can help you, obviously you're gonna have to pay me for my time if I'm not live doing it on the air. Um, and I think I am affordable. 
I don't see my prices changing to maybe what, maybe two to three years. And if they do change, it is, it's only going to be to force y'all to learn this stuff on your own. All right. Because doing the paperwork, that's only half of the work. You have to do the rest. Uh, you have to study. You have to study. You can do this. I promise you, you can do this. You're going to make mistakes. That's fine. I still make mistakes. Everybody make mistakes. The so-called judges, the attorneys, everybody makes mistakes. That's why they have appeals. You get what I'm saying? Everybody makes mistakes. That's okay. Um, so document drafting. If you want me to draft your documents, uh, a minimum is 10 hours. I like for my stuff to be A1. Perfect. Okay. And then if it's something new, I'm going to have to study it. But if I can't do it, I'm just going to tell you I can't do it. I don't even want your money. And do not contact me if you're not going to follow through with this. Meaning if you're not going to um, litigate your case, if you're not going to, if you're not willing to study and go to court and argue this stuff like you're supposed to, don't even pay me because you're just wasting my time and you're wasting your time. Don't do that. All right. Minimum of that is just $500. There's a transaction fee. Uh, you can pay me via uh, PayPal for all of these right here. All these are uh, through PayPal. Um, or if you, uh, Zelle is free. If you want to pay via Zelle, Zelle is free. Let me know. And I'll give you, um, my QR code or RQ, I have it, pronounce it, uh, via Zelle. That's free. There's no transaction fee, but, uh, everything else charges a transaction fee. You are responsible for the transaction fee. Uh, all of the details are in these services. Okay. I recommend. This right here for uh, everybody. It's a hundred dollars. It's a private Zoom meeting. The video is recorded. You'll get a copy of the video. We'll do live. It's a live Q and A and live legal research. Um, I'll actually read the case. You know, if we have time, and explain it to you. So on and so forth. But you're gonna have to learn how to do this stuff on your own, y'all. That's I, I don't know any other way to say it. That's what you're gonna have to do. You're going to have to learn how to do this on your own. It's up to you to know your rights. All right. But uh, if y'all wanted to hire me, that's what you can do. I'll post a link. Um, So you can just start. If you want to just start booking, you, you just go ahead, start booking, whatever. Um, I'll contact you as soon as I can. Okay. Um, And when when you do this stuff, you know, send me your paperwork that you want me to read or go over or whatever, but make sure you redact any personal information that you don't want known. All right. Just redact it. Also, if you have like if you have hired me in the past to do some work for you, um, and you see this video, please, if you don't mind, you know, you don't have to do this because I can't force you to, you know, to do something that you don't want to do. But if you don't mind, please comment on the video. And give me an honest review. I don't an honest review. I don't care if it's good or bad. Just give me an honest review of the quality of my services. So just so other people can see, so to speak. Because I um I, I try to be transparent. All right. Um and I, I try to keep this stuff affordable for people. Um my prices start 30 minute consultations, $25. Hour. Fifty dollars, you know, and if you book more, you know, I'll shave something off the price so you can save some so-called money or whatever, because I know um, some people just can't afford this stuff. That's why I always try to make it affordable for people. Um, uh, what else? I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. I don't really know. But anyway, you can start right here. Y'all post a link to this. You need me. This is how you. If you need me, like immediately, this is how you. This is how you get my attention immediately. Um. I'll try to do. Hey, it's Thursday. I'll try to do a live later this week. A live Q and A later this week. Uh, cause I j I have a little free time now. Uh, I just filed. Um, we just filed the last reply yesterday in federal court um and that's in one case and in another case the defendants have just filed their responses to our objections um 
in another case. So that's where we at right now. And I'm waiting to hear back from uh, an appellate state court. I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from them because I filed a, um, a motion for rehearing. But anyway, I have a little free time. I don't know how much free time I'm going to have. All right, but right now, I have some free time. So if you don't catch me on the live, this is how you contact me. All right. Um, do not wait until the last minute to book me. Uh, you need to go and do that. If you have, if you know you got so-called court next month, you really need to be doing this now. Uh, you need to be booking it now. So um, I'll be able to, you know, I can read over it just to see if I can help you, whatever, which, whatever it is. I don't know what you need, but I'll do the best that I can. Okay. I'm not an attorney. I don't want to be an attorney. All uh, right. But I do know what the hell I'm doing. And if I don't, I'm going to tell you. Uh, I'm not I'm, I'm not going to even take your money off. I'll, I'll probably give you a partial refund or something like that. It, it depends on um, the equity, you know, of the uh, the situation, if that makes sense. But anyway, that'll be it. Everybody enjoy their day. Thank you. And the Supreme Litigant is out. Peace.